Hey guys, I am doing a replacement of a uh, of brake lights on the back of this Rambler and we're going to be putting in a four inch backup light in the location where the backup lights were originally. And these are the original factory Holiday Rambler 1976. I'm sure you've got a trailer that looks a lot like this. And as usual, down at the bottom of the video, down where the description and date of publishing will be, I will put you a link to exactly where I got these lights at. These are unusual. Um, these are what you'd call transit or bus lights. And they are eight and a quarter inches across and about five and five eighths inches top and bottom. And they come with this typical three wire. So you have the red for brake, black for running light, and I believe the white for the ground. I'm gonna check that before I install. Um, but if you see this, now the only thing in this Rambler here that's, that's plywood is this piece back in here. Everything else is either that Formica style paneling or it's aluminum. So even right here, even up the top, it's all aluminum frame here, aluminum frame there. But there is a sheet, a piece of plywood that was used for the screws to get into back in here. The very long screws actually went back in the back. Now, these LED lights are turn and break. So they have... Uh, a little dirty there they have nothing but um, that function so there's no there's no amber in this no amber yellow orange whatever turning signal light but they do perform as a turning signal because they flash as well as hit the brake and they have the standard running light so there's two brightnesses level for that these I will mount like this so you'll see how that's gonna go and the other one will be mounted like this leaving room in the center for a four inch LED white backup light. So let's get this done and I'm gonna have to back my truck up to hook up to make sure all our wiring is correct. Okay, let's get that process started. Hey, testing it out, I have discovered that this, the black wire is my running lights and the red wire is my brake light, uh, brake and turn. And the yellow wire is my brake and turn. And this, uh, this being an old trailer, uh, you need to know these things uh, and that's my running lights there so just by disconnecting and figuring out which one's which all right here we go we're going to uh, try to get this wired correctly all right now continuing this video I just went ahead and come out at night so my pickup truck is sitting up that way uh, hooked onto the trailer so I can check these lights this is the backup light here and it will fit into a three inch hole, a three, actually the cover three and a half, just freaking barely, I mean, real close to it. So right here. Now, of course the metal has got to have some repair done to it, different spots where there was originally screws from the old, craggy, broken lights. Now, in my case, my uh, yellow wire is my turn wires on this side over here and you see now I believe on the other side what they were and the black wire is the running lights so your normal running lights the green wire is the ground wire because it goes to the chassis of that light frame right there and the white wire is the backup lights hot wire so let's get over here and I will go ahead and hit the emergency brake put on the backup light and a turn signal so you can see how these work all right you can see my voltmeter on the side of the truck that's for that big inverter and the extra battery uh, bank in the back so if you want to see my other videos go back uh, I don't know a little before this video and you'll see that meter works great um, so we're going to go ahead and reach in here and we will put the truck in reverse so you see that there's I have almost hit 71,000 miles in my 97 pickup pretty good huh and we will turn on the left turn signal so the truck is bound up down here on the trailer and it's also got its emergency brake on it so all right back here we have a very bright backup light and oof boy and that's what 
and the good thing is is that thing there is 18 watts so it's only pulling one and a half amps 1.42 actually amps and these lights are very nice i'm gonna turn that backup light out because it just really doesn't help you see how good and bright these lights are they're not blinding but you can see them a long ways off and these are rv lights uh, intentionally rv lights but like you see in the beginning of the video they are quite flat and surface mount with two screws and we use security screws on them because you know people might steal them so we'll turn that off i'll pause it and as you can see up here on my old rambler not all the lights are working <laughs> Man, they don't do too good uh, 35 point or 30 33 sorry this is a 33.5 foot mo uh, travel trailer um if you measure it, it actually comes out as being 34 foot one inch i don't know what's wrong with their measurement but there they are without the backup light and this is just in your running light configuration uh, i turned the flashers off when i went up there so now our next move is to go ahead and copy the same procedure here and get a tape and measure them out and you want to look where it has the lettering on the bottom of these lights so that you're damn sure that you put them upright because these are made to where they won't you know kick glare off at you if you put them upside down the diodes will actually focus a little bit towards the sky because where they're, they're set up now they're supposed to mount flat or as flat as possible and the diodes are slightly focused downward so that they don't create too much road glare for the victim behind you um, you can in your truck if you wish to do so you can bypass wire your backup light in your pickup truck if you know how to do that with a momentary switch and it will kick these on now these are 18 watt and they will kick some light out that went out about 200 feet out in the field behind my property so they will blind somebody I'm not saying you should do it just saying you could do it all right so let's go ahead and get these on here and i'm going to go ahead and make my layout little marks and we'll get uh we'll get back to that and then you'll get both of these all running all set up and the old crap very gone all right man all right now with the other set of lights put in and the reverse on on my truck and of course the brake on real well i have the backup lights both of them on now i'm out here at my well but at the back of my fence so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and disconnect this this light and we will see don't like that white light too much but um it lights up about 150 200 feet out behind my trailer and about i don't know i'd say probably 14 18 14 to 18 feet wide at about 10 feet to 15 feet out so just giving you a rough idea and that's these two lights right there so they are definitely worth the money i think it was 12 dollars for a set of those and i'll put a link in there for those and one for these come from two different places and I'll, I'll go ahead and show you what these are like i'll throw on the hazard lights and you'll get an idea of their brightness and i'll turn off the uh, reverse there all right now getting back out here you will see in that cool effect on my hand from the leds uh you will see that they are damn well bright and everything on the truck everything on the uh, is being replaced with leds all these little marker lights but pretty bright pretty effective and i mean way the hell out it you can probably see me from a mile away with these things so don't rear in my holiday rambler guys it is ready to roll now all right man make sure you put these with the writing down here so that they're correct otherwise your glare will be in the wrong angle for it focusing the light backwards all right guys any questions just ask i'll try to answer thanks